bitch in a second. Yeah. Not about money, then leave me a message. Spin again. Hey gang, welcome to my channel. My name is Ken Ken and today I am here to give you guys a mod review for your Sims 4 game. Okay, this is going to be the five essential mods that I feel like every Sim player needs. Um, I just feel like it makes the game experience better um, and it's, it's plenty of mods that you need but I find that these two um, I haven't been able to separate myself from so I wanted to share it with all my simmers out here in the world Okay, so this is my girl ivory and she's gonna be helping me Show you guys some of the mods that I really feel like a necessity. Okay, like I just do like <laughs> Period, but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know if you guys want any more videos Um, I was also thinking about doing tutorials on how to do post player You know how to set up, you know wicked whims etc so yeah that's gonna be you know what i'm thinking about doing moving forward but i wanted to give you at least five starting off with that i feel like is really good for your game and just helps it like feel more realistic like i don't know but so first mod we're gonna look at is the mc command sender i honestly i feel like it's the number one mod that you need for your game like i just feel like it just makes your game just so much better. And I also feel like with MC Command Center, you don't have to worry about so much. Um, for example, you know, with the updates and the patches. Um, if you delete, you know, your files or your sims and you have to start over, set relationships, you can just do a lot. So the first thing that I feel like is a necessity when it comes to the MC Command Center is to is to definitely set your sim as a mortal okay i feel like this is a necessity i feel like i feel like in sims the sims can die from anything like over what being too hot uh dying of laughter like you know silly stuff like that you would go to your sim com your sim flags mc command center and you will come here i'm telling you it's a lot with mc command center but it's worth it so now i'm gonna flag her as a mortal so she won't die your a sim flag as a mortal will never age up or die so this is great um i don't have to worry about her you know just passing away from some random thing you know what i mean also you can flag for no age um if you want to control when your sim ages up so i also feel like that's a great you know thing to have you can pretty much save your sims life with flagging them as immortal so another thing that i would like to show you guys that i love about mc command center is mc dressers and so um one thing i love about the mc dresser is it doesn't require an action to change your sims outfit so let's say i want to change her outfit into another um sleepwear so i'm gonna go into mc command center and i'm gonna go to the dresser mc dresser and that has everything to do with the clothing okay one thing about mc command center the options are very like detailed it kind of helps you know what you're going for so if i wanted to change her outfit without changing without it being an interaction meaning something that she has to do which has to be in queue you can go into nc command center go into mc dresser and change her outfit so let's say i want to change her into another um, bedtime outfit so let's say i want to change her into this one so as you can see she's already changed i didn't have to set up her in a interaction or anything cue her to do anything um it just kind of you know she just changed and i love that especially for storytelling game playing i just feel like mc command center just it saves you from a lot like i just feel like it does so one last little bonus thing it's up to you is the you can change your game speed with mc command center and i say it at your own discretion because it does affect it can affect how your game runs depending on how 
fast or slow you set it okay so you're gonna with this you have to go into the computer you you won't be able to click onto your sim to change the setting but i love slowing my game down like i feel like especially when it comes to storytelling you know game playing i get more done in a day with my sim like i feel like it's more realistic so you're going to go to your gameplay settings and you're going to go to game time speed so i recommend starting out between you know if you feel like you have a lower um performing computer i would start with 35 work your way up i have mine on 40 and i love it um the default is 25 so at 40 i feel like it's perfect i know people that have it on 60 and i'm just i feel like 60 is too slow because it does affect how fast okay your sim gets done with the interaction or an action okay so you also want to keep in that in mind you don't want to set it too slow so I, I recommend between 40 and 50 start off at 35 see how you like it you know increase if you feel like you need more but this is also like a little thing that i love about mc command center okay so this next mod that i want to show you guys is the more traits in cash mod okay this is gonna be um by the pancake one in missouri yuki um so instead of your sim having three um traits now they have five okay and actually i get to add another trait so let's just add another trait um and this is the chingy you 100 traits i can link that as well but what else do i want ivory to be ivory is a scorpio she is a partner in crime she has random sex moodlets she's a sugar baby like I love the sim. I'm trying to think. Um, so you, as you can see, all these traits in the game. I feel like with the more traits and having also this bonus mod of the Chingy Yu traits, it gives your sim like more diversity. Like, oh, is my girl a heavy drinker? Yes, yeah, she is. She's always down to drink something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to her. Wait, no, not brave. Sorry. But yeah, so I'm going to add that to her. But you, like if you just find traits like on the Internet, I feel like it's awesome. I love like how this allows your sim to be, you know, just to really like have a personality i feel it gives more variety um and also i feel like it allows your sims to have more buffs as well i think i'm gonna link the chinky chinky sorry i may be saying it wrong i think i'm gonna link chinky you in the bottom since i'm like showcasing it so that'll be a bonus uh mod as well but yes this is what i love about this so yeah now let's go into the next mod so with this mod this is gonna be the more columns in cash and this is by um i want to say where bisu <laughs> but you have the option of you can have three columns because i think the standard is two you can have three columns you can have four columns or you can have five columns um i have five just because i have a lot of cc um a lot of clothing so i feel like this is a great thing especially for those who you know just really love being in cast love dressing your sims love creating sims i feel like this helps you see your options more when it comes to dressing your and styling your sim so i love this trait um this is a must-have for me these two um are definitely a must-have um i feel like to give like i said once again just make your sims their own um i just love how the buffs like it just gives you more variety and buffs with these with more traits like I, I i don't know how to explain it but it's definitely like in my top five traits I'm, I'm sorry in my top five mods but yeah so and then another mod that i'm about to show you now is definitely in my top 
you know five of course because i love cooking i love eating so i feel like you should have great recipe for your sim so let's go ahead and get into the next mod so the next mod i'm going to get into is by insemnia eats okay we are going to cook some food with miss ivory um, and also with Insemnia, they deliver, they have a delivery. So you see my girl has her a Frappuccino from Krispy Kreme. But we are going to, okay, so let's see what we're going to cook here. Um, so with Insemnia, it does come with a tablet that looks like a grocery list. I think it's so cool. Here we go. So this is like her grocery list. You see Hot Pockets, chips. I never looked at that. I didn't even realize it was backwards, but that is so cute. Um, so this is going to be the Insemnia mod. So you're going to go to your grocery list. And with Insemnia, they have the option of you can either um, download the ingredients to where you need the ingredients to fix the meal. Or you can download the recipes. Um, where you don't have to go to the store to purchase the ingredients. You can just cook the meals. Um, personally, I do the recipes because I don't want my Sims to starve. Like, I just don't. Um, so, let's see. It is 1.14 in the morning. Let's make a dessert. So, she doesn't really... Well, she has six, but... See, it's saying that she can't make the strawberry oatmeal bars because she doesn't have any strawberries. Um, Betty Crocker, ready to bake brownie mix. Okay, actually, let's keep looking at some more stuff. Um, so you got snacks. Um, with your snacks, you have peanut butter jelly sandwiches, egg rolls. Um, and so with most of this stuff, I can't make it because I don't have the ingredients. So let's see, um, what else we got? Rice and pasta, spaghetti and meatballs. Um, so this is one thing I love about Insemnia is the realism, okay? So let's, what are we gonna make? Let's make a home cooked meal. Let's see what we can make. Ooh, so she can make this stuff. Um, so let's make some southern fried chicken and collard greens. Let me do this. I think this is a cake. For some reason, she wants to bake a cake. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna watch my girl whip it up in the kitchen. Ivory. Okay, so let's see. So um, with Insemnia, most of the ingredients are eggs. It's going to come out as eggs for some reason. Um, let's see. So she's making the collard greens. Look at that. Oh, my God. It looks so realistic. So that's the collard greens she's doing first, which you are supposed to do. You got to wash those collard greens. Ivory, I did not see you wash no... Um, collard greens girl but anywho okay and so as i was saying earlier my game speed is 40 so it's gonna be more realistic she's actually gonna sit here and cook this food it's not gonna be rushed you see that more and salt and send me a blank you see that salt the salt is so realistic i love it oh my gosh okay so now she's frying her chicken Chicken frying. Okay, chicken frying. I like, I like. <laughs> okay, fried it chicken. Even though you can't put the juice in there because it's going to pop in everywhere from the greens. But okay, Ivory. <laughs> but I just, it's so cool. Like, how that really looks like chicken. Like, these mod creators are uh, they like a food like I love it. I just love how they bring so much realism to the game. So oh Lord Ivory, don't burn it. Uh, so this is the fried chicken, cornbread, and collard greens, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look at that. 
Look at the realism. This is what I'm saying. Like you cook this on Thanksgiving, you bring the you bring this to the dinner, the potluck on. I mean, to, like I love it. I love it, Simia. Let's grab a serving. I just want to see what it looks like when she grabs the serving. All right. And my girl just gone. Just look at that. Like that. I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. And I just ate fried chicken and collard greens, which is crazy, and cornbread. That good old Jiffy mix with that buttermilk. But yeah, like, I love it. I love it. Also, I'm going to show you guys the register. So give me one second. And so, let's see, with the register, let me give you guys a better view. So this is the register that you would put in like a grocery store. So let's see, you see you have like buy frozen food, um, hot pockets, let's see, I think that's the only uh, recipe I have. You have to get the recipes in order for them to show up. So hot pockets, mozzarella sticks, um, let's see what else we got, frozen breakfast, Jimmy Dean's, um, crustables, Eggos, let's see. I really want to get the stuff to make their rotel dip. But <laughs> so you have like um, infused beverages, Coca Cola, water, and all this stuff is functional um, to where you can't eat it. So let's see. What else? Um, show. Definitely get into this mod. Check it out. This is one of my favorite. Um, mods because I love cooking it says buy alcoholic drinks oh okay so you can get Budweiser you can have them deliver Hennessy I mean Hennessy um, Heineken excuse me you can have them deliver Heineken so yep so you got your craft um, to make the Rotel dip so yeah definitely guys I would like really get into this mod I feel like it's awesome and also on the patreon um they do have some recipes that are free so you will like be able to you know have fun with this mod without really uh breaking your pockets so next we're gonna get into the next mod so the next mod we're gonna um get into is gonna be the brawling mod okay so if you guys have checked out my new lp it is called um love and life and sim story excuse me i'm thinking about living like a um so with my girl ivory um ivory has a cousin okay that she is not getting along with long story short this is the cousin's house long story short oh and there she goes the cousin the cousin tried to sleep with her man like sorry i meant to the cousin tried to sleep with her man okay so this is gonna be the brawling mod <laughs> and that's her aunt wendy okay so wendy is her mom's sister okay but it doesn't matter okay if you family you're supposed to be family and so i felt like this was a perfect time to to demonstrate the brawling mod Oh, you started breaking. Okay. So, let's see if we can get access. Okay, so Ivory's in. Okay, so we're in the house. So, let's see. Her cousin is here. So, yeah. Let's go here. All right. Let's just do it outside. And then we're going to do it. Okay, so with the brawling mod... Let's see. So with the brawling mod, um, you do have to go into your um, mean category. Okay, so we're going to go into the mean category and we're going to go to brawling. Okay, so what do we want to do? Girl, you slept with my man. So I feel like, um, yeah, it needs to go down. It, it needs to go down yeah i ain't do nothing to you at first mm -hmm. so that's gonna be the the face punch mod 
Yeah, I don't care. We already don't like you anyway. We already don't like you anyway. Yeah, we don't like you. Yeah. We try to sleep with my man. And he wasn't going for it. Ivory, why are you humiliated? I don't get it. You handled, yeah, well, period. So let's see. We're going to do one more on her. We're going to do a ground fight. Now, what I do love about the ground fight is you don't really know if your sim is going to win or not. Okay. It's a possibility that your sim can lose. Okay. Look, she's, yeah, it's a possibility. So let's hope Ivory wins. This, I'm probably not even going to save this, but just wait till the real thing go down. Okay. Like, I, Ivory been with Jasper since high school. Okay. You knew that. Okay, they've been knowing each other since they was kids. Oh, now she fighting her mama? Oh, she fighting her mama. All right. I don't know what my dad is. Don't nobody like Isis. Like, Isis is like Cousin Faith. She gets Cousin Faith vibes. If you ever seen Soul Food, Cousin Faith. Like, period. Nobody likes Ivory. I mean, nobody likes Isis. This is what the fight looks like. Ivory, please don't lose. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yeah, get her, Ivory. Yeah, get her. Ooh. 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 Ooh, she hurt. Let's do one more on her. Let's slap her. Ivory, stop hitting the bone. She like, I'm stressed. I keep beating this girl up. <laughs> I'm just like, but yeah, brawling, it, it brings more drama. It brings more realism. Like, if, yeah, if somebody slept with your man, you would slap them. Like, period. Like, period. And, and that's that on that. <laughs> and it does bring a negative um relationship between the two people let's see look stole my partner i just slept with the sim who was in the mm, 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 nemesis so it does add um sentiments towards the person as well so i hope you guys enjoy this mod review yeah we yeah girl you lucky um let me go home wait yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this mod review. Um, let me know in the comments any more mods you would like to review or just see in the game. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you all. And have a great night. Great day. Bye.